Hi everyone, today I thought I'd show you uh, how I build um, a rover uh, and put ArduPilot on uh, for my development and and uses and things like that. Uh, I don't think there's a video showing you, you know, specifically this build. There's lots of build videos on the internet, but I just thought I'd show you how, how I do it in case anyone's interested. I've purchased one of these uh, 110 scale two-wheel drive uh, RC cars. I've purchased the 110 scale because that's a nice big uh, vehicle. It gives me a big platform to work on. I put all the electronics on. It's just easy to work on. You can fit them on a 1 16th car. I have a 1 16th car with it all crammed on. But um, for this one, I actually want to put a, a few different um, payloads on there I want to experiment with. So uh, a 110 scale is ideal for that. I've gone two wheel drive just to keep the drivetrain simpler, uh, it makes driving simpler. Uh, less losses. I don't need to, to uh, corner on rails or anything like that. Okay, so let's we'll just open this one up. I'll just take the box off. Put that over there. Okay. So I've already taken the uh, uh, locking pins out of here. You can see this plastic. We don't need this plastic shell. So we'll just take that off and we can have a look at the vehicle here. Uh, as I said, very simple design. It's just got a, uh, a servo uh, with a little uh, uh, arm here for steering on the front wheels. It's got a fan called uh, speed controller in the background, HXT connector, connected for the servo, motor in the back here. Nice big wheels. I do need this uh, Rover to run on grass, uh, mud flaps, take them or leave them. So what I normally do for the build is I create a platform um, where I can put all the electronics on. Now I've actually pre-cut a board for this uh, and I use this thin uh, this thin plywood here, three layer ply I think it is, very thin. And I have cut the board as you can see so it's just inside the front bumper and the rear bumper. Okay, just to say if we get a, a knock in the front or a knock in the back the bump is going to absorb that impact, it's not going to be the board absorbing the impact. I've also made it, as you can see, slightly narrower uh, than the vehicle. Okay, and the reason for that is then it goes back in the box that I just unwrapped it from um, for transport and things like that. Uh, so that's where I make the board. I'm sort of making it as big as possible so I can, you know, plenty of space to work on and then um, and put it... Um, cut to that sort of size. It's not an exact size, it's just what works. So now what I need to do is I need to cut four holes in this board, actually six holes, but four initially to fit the mounts through so then I can sit the board on there and clip it into place and then it won't come off. Now I could, you know, hold the board there, sort of measure how far in, you know, measure how far in there and then along all that sort of stuff. Or I can just cheat, which is what I do. Again, it's not an exact science. And I just color in the top of these with my felt tip pen or sharpie, depending on which part of the world you're from. Just make sure the ink is nice and wet there. And then I get my board in the position that I want it. And I just lower it on. About there looks pretty good. Push a little bit. And there you go. They're not, they don't stand out. Uh, a lot, but it's enough for me to know to drill the holes there. So I drill those four holes, and then I'm ready to go to mount that board. Once you've done those four holes, you'll need another two holes to run the cables through. I run the cables through uh, the holes and up to the up to the uh, RG autopilot. I'm going to be using a Pixhawk in this case, but you may be using something like a Pix Racer or or even a Raspberry Pi with a, a, a daughter board on it, whatever is running RG Pilot. I'm going to drill another couple of holes to be able to put the cable through and up to the PIX hook. I'll also need to run, I usually use the power brick underneath the board and then run that cable through with this cable up the back here into the PIX hook for the power monitoring. So that's, uh, I'm going to go drill those holes and uh, then I'll show you the next step. 